Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I am Amy with Growing Your Faith and today we are doing another little project with the Honey Bee Kit from Bible Journal Love that you can find in the Etsy in her Etsy shop. Um, if you'll check the description down below there will be a link to that. So today we are going to make some faith dex cards. We've already done a Bible journaling page and we have also made some cute little cards that you can send to your friends and loved ones. And so I um, really enjoyed making these little faith decks cards, so I wanted to show you how to do that. So the first thing that we are going to want to do is get our um, holes in our cards so that we can put them in our faith decks box or the little rotating thing, whichever whichever you had. I actually made a box out of foam board using foam board, some paint, and some um, skewers. So um, I have two different ways to show you how to do this. There's, I guess there's three. If you have the punch, you can just use the punch. I don't have the punch. So um, my Cricut cut out some Faith Dex cards for me and it has the design in it so then I can just trace them and cut them out. Um, so they will look something like this, right? They've got that square boxy look to them. But I also, before I was able to do that, I also created a way to make them without that. So then you have, um, well it's got a whole bunch of writing all over the back, but uh, you can see that these aren't square. I just did these with the hole punch and some scissors. Okay, so we're gonna do both so that I can show you how to do both. Okay, so let's do this one first because it's the easy one. Now I made these two cards and the cards that we're gonna make today are just a little bit different. I'm using um, a couple of different elements just so that we'll have other options and I can have <laughs> different cards in my box and not just the same ones. So, um, let's see. So the first one would be this one. And so I'm gonna take these elements, I'm just gonna slide these elements off and we will do this part first. Let's see, I think they go every which way. So this one, I am going to use this and I'm gonna line it up as centered as possible and then I'm going to use that as my hole punch guide. And I'm going to just stick my hole punch right in where that hole punch is at and just punch a hole. These fit perfectly with this one that I made that has these skewers in it. And I'll show that to you as well. So then you just want to cut just a little bit on each side. Make it a little wider on the bottom, a little more narrow on the top. There's no, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be able to fit the little dowel in there. And there you have it. Ta -da. Okay, so that's that one. Um, that goes with those. Now let's do this one. So you can see I um, changed up my journaling cards too. I really like this card, we'll see. I think I like it this way. All right, so for this one, we're gonna use um, a card that I already have here. And again, we're gonna, oh wait, let's flip this over. <laughs> I wanna draw on the front. We're gonna center it up, and then we're just going to trace our pencil here. I like using a lead pencil because that lead is so thin that it gets in these little tight spots pretty easily. All right, there we go. And now we just cut it out, which is actually a little tricky, but you got this. Because the angle is so weird. Sorry. Boom. All right, there's one. You just kind of flatten it back out a little bit. And let's go for this one. Do 
You can also do these digitally uh, with the PNGs and then print them out, which makes things a little bit easier, but then you don't have that raised up texture, which I like, but I also love doing things digitally and then printing them out. I'm gonna cut around these edges a little bit because we have these black lines on here that didn't cut quite right. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is ink around my edges. Let's leave that one over there. I'm ink around my edges. So I am using my same combination that I've used in the other videos, a little bit of squeezed lemonade and um, carved pumpkin. And I like mixing the two because I like the color. It's just a little bit, um, it's just not quite so loud <laughs> as that lemon, that lemon yellow is very, very loud. So we're just gonna ink around, oh, need a little bit more orange. And I can adjust to the color just by adding a little bit more orange or adding a little bit more yellow. All right, so that edge is inked. Now I'm gonna ink the rest of this. Now the great thing about her frames is she inks them for you. So that is already inked and ready to go. I'm just gonna do like a light little touch on the B. I just like to get rid of some of that harsh white color, but I don't want to go crazy with them. There's the B, and then we will do the word art. <clears throat> Ink around the edges of this. And then sometimes I like to just kind of go over the middle of it just to kind of get rid of that, that harsh white. Okay, so there's those. Oh wait, where's my, my flowers? Okay, so I've got this other frame, this flower frame here that I tucked in behind here just because I liked the, the flowers. <clears throat> so let's situate that on there how I like it. And it's okay if it hangs off the edge a little. We can either trim it or you can leave it. Um, the biggest thing is going to be that if it comes into our holes, we kind of trim those up. <clears throat> oh wait, I thought I was changing. I was gonna change my, here, sorry. I gotta ink this one. Oh, this was gonna change my verse so that I had different verses on here. And that was the same as this one right here. There we go. And then our B will rest somewhere right here. So I'm gonna get these two glued together first. So that they are stuck together and not moving all around. Put a little up at the top here. There we go. All right, and then I can situate my verse on here where I want it. And it's not glued down to the card yet, so I can adjust all of that as I like. So I'm gonna stick the, slide it in just a teensy bit. And he'll go right there. This tip really helps me to be able to adjust things and then and set them in place and then just get just a little bit of glue on there. It dries super fast and that is so helpful. All right, let's ink a little bit on these flowers. We're gonna have to be careful because these leaves are uh, super fragile. And we've got that situated. Now let's figure out where we want him to go. I think I like him right there. Okay, so then I'm gonna glue him down. Now I can turn it and adjust it. And I'll worry about messing anything up. Little bees. 
little bee antenna. Move them down. Okay, now I can situate this whole thing exactly where I want it in the middle of the card. <clears throat> And then just lift up a corner with my glue here. And then let that set for just a half a second because it glues super fast. And now I can move it all around and glue wherever I need to. And this fine tip, metal tip on here really helps you to be able to get up underneath without having to lift the whole thing and glue the back of it and then try to set it right back down where you wanted it. All right, so there's our first card. And let's grab a hold and work on our second one. Now, see, I didn't ink around the edges of this one and that's okay, I can go back. I can actually go back now and do it. It's just a little bit easier if we do it before we get started. because there's not a whole bunch of stuff in our way. And it just, it just kind of makes it pop. And you don't need a lot of colors, just some of your basic, basic colors. I've got like a red and a purple and a light blue and, oh, and then my favorite, which is um, the, where'd it go? I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is, it's under something. The frayed burlap, the antique -y. It makes it antique -y, so I love that one. Okay, so there's those, that's done. <clears throat> now let's do this one. We're gonna ink around the edges again, just like we did before. Probably still have quite a bit on here, but let's just re-up our brush. little your little things down here can be a little tricky but just kind of color around them like that It'll probably get covered up but it's okay orange here and there we go okay <clears throat> oh wait I need to do my little pieces here okay so need to do our B. Our frame is already done. Our verse and our flower. I keep closing my ink. This kit is just so cute. I am loving the little bees. I love honeybees. They are just my favorite. Let's go over the middle a little bit here. And it's just, they all are supposed to be like little puppy stickers. So they all have this um, dimension to them. That's, that's really cute. Little bee, little bee. Remember those puffy stickers when we were kids? Oh my gosh, we loved those. Or I did, I love stickers. Okay, so there he is. Now we are going to situate our frame on here and our verse first, because those are our bottom layers. And I'm gonna let this one stick off just a little bit. You can see that I did that here as well. Um, well this is a little wonky. I like these frames. It looks like they're hand-drawn frames. Um, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get a little bit of this white out of here. Just, just a little bit. It's just so white. Okay, there. Okay, I think I like that better. There we go. It's not so bright. Okay, I'm gonna set everything on here just to kind of see how it's going to look and make sure that I'm not putting anything in a really bad place that's gonna be um, overlapping anything that I don't want it to overlap. So I think I'm gonna raise up my frame a little bit here. Okay, 
Then I can lower my B, adjust my flower, and put my verse right here. This one's a little bit smaller than this one, so it won't hang off quite as much. And then his little wing can go up here. Okay, and we'll slide those out of the way and get some glue under here. I'm not left-handed, so this is gonna be interesting. There we go. All right, and then I can just glue a little bit more of it. Only on the frame. There we go, so he's all set to go, and then I can start adding the other elements. Again, we are going to glue them down just to this frame here so that we can then adjust. I think I'm gonna put the B first. Let's put the B first. So I want him, I want him in here. I'm a little bit more particular about how exactly I want him in here. All right, glue him down. Oops, a little weighing down. All right, now I can move it and glue the rest of his head at a good angle. There we go. I think I'm gonna leave his little, oh, wait, not the cord. Okay, I'm gonna leave his little antennae raised up, give us a little bit of a dimension. All right, now I can put my flower right about there. Now I can adjust all of this however I want to. Um, so it just gives me a little bit more freedom to make tiny little adjustments rather than if I had glued the frame down first and then started piling things on top of each other, then it's set and I can't move it. So I like doing it like this a little bit better. All right, so now we can glue him down and then that's got it all set and we can just turn and glue. I'm gonna lift this up quite a bit so I can glue up underneath that frame. There we go. Sneak up under this side with this lovely metal tip here. And glue that down. And we have two Faith Dex cards done pretty quickly. And you have all this space on the back. Um, you saw on this one where I tape, uh, not taped, I glued paper onto it. That gives me space and lines to write on the back. Um, so when I study these verses, I like to then add notes on the back. Um, you can see where I've done that here. Uh, I didn't, I didn't tape, I didn't do paper on here, but I've made lots of notes on the back. So, um, that helps me uh, and I, the lines really help me because <laughs> then everything winds up straight and I don't wind up with a whole bunch of crazy going on, uh, which can happen when I start to write without lines. So, so there you have it. Some little Faith Dex cards for your Faith Dex box. I'll show you mine. Let's see if we can fit it in the frame here. Back out just a little bit. I don't want you to see too much of my mess here. Uh, so this is a nice, good size box. I can fit, I am going to be able to fit cards in here for days. Um, so I painted the inside pink, the outside is black, um, and these are the skewers, and I painted them black as well. I thought they looked good against that pink. I still haven't put a handle on here, but I wanna put some sort of a little nameplate uh, handle on here. And then our cards can just fit right in here. One, two, and three. Ooh, that one's a little snug. And four. There we go. Nice. All right, guys, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make some Faith X cards out of the Honeybee Kit. Again, you can check that out on uh, Etsy, the Bible Journal of Etsy page, Honey Bee Set, and I will post a link to that in the description along with links to the other videos in this series. I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.